Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video of mine. So today's video is going to be about the Filipina standard of beauty. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. So I just want to put a disclaimer before starting this video because somewhere out there the bitch is going to clock me. I just want to let you guys know that I am not saying that every Filipina is like this. We are all different, but I know to myself, majority of us went through this cycle. To be honest with you guys, I even got bullied just because I wasn't able to meet these beauty standards. So without further ado, if you are interested what to know these things are, just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the hair. Around 2000, early 2000s or earlier than that, straight hair is a shit guys i'm telling you if you have long straight hair people would think that oh you have money for the salon remember those rejoice days there are even contests about these uh shampoo commercials they would do you, their hair like that walang sabit you guys know what i'm talking about uh try searching the rejoice commercials all of them most of them talk about sparky princess please i give you freedom and this is what you do in return all right so long straight hair is totally the thing before relaxing the hair it's it's a treatment if i don't know if that still exists hair relaxing is one of the things that you do to make your hair straight and around that time people were so into relaxing the hair that is a treatment called back in the day that was the first one of one of the first treatments that you can get if you want your hair to be straight please correct me if i'm wrong if there are other methods and then after that hair rebonding came alive came alive was invented and now we have the brazilian blowout which kind of like straightens your hair right so a lot of people a lot of salons i even have friends of mine who opened up a salon providing those kinds of treatments for the hair because everybody wants to have long black super straight hair I know a lot of girls in the provinces, they would always have these very beautiful long black hair and I have always been jealous of that. By the way, if you guys have uh, noticed some of my videos, my hair was blonde. Around late 2012 or something in between that time, people, girls in the Philippines would tend to experiment more by going blonde. Not even brown, but I'm telling you, straight up blonde and I admit I literally enjoyed doing that just so because when I was in high school and in college, if you guys do not know, I studied in a Catholic school and we are not really allowed to color our natural hair. So that's that. <laughs> but yeah, I li can literally remember those days where there are competitions in noontime shows when it comes to hair. I'm not even kidding. So ask your mom if she knows the Rejoice commercials or you probably know these types of commercials if we are in the same age range so i was born i'm not gonna tell you that now today i just noticed that a lot of filipinas are stepping out in their comfort zone trying to color their hair in different types of shades but the most common is blonde and sometimes i can see some of the people getting their hair permed which is really cute because you know trying different things is really fun so yeah i almost forgot this one I don't know if you guys know, but if you have really curly hair in the Philippines back in the day, I don't know if it's still a thing now, but I know some parts of our country would bully some people. This is so true. Bully some people with curly hair. They would call them kulot salot. Curly and I don't know what's that in salot in the English, like a pest or whatever. But it's something that is not really... It's so sad because I've always admired Goldilocks hair, but I still wanted to be... Because, you know, you get influenced, you're starting to think that, you know, whatever they think is beautiful, you would follow that. I think that that comes along with everybody. I don't know. But yeah, if you have curly hair, especially when we are young, I have classmates who gets, you know, teased all the time. Kulot salot, kulot salot. It's so, it's so sad because why? It's so cute. It's like you wake up and you're all done. The next one that i would like to talk about is having porcelain skin or white skin now remember when i told you guys earlier that i even got bullied for that i actually got bullied for that because i was a swimmer back in the day we used to train 12 in the noon till 6 p.m and that's how intense that is and that is every freaking day i can remember myself having these um white cast looking like of the goggles because this is the only part that i get get protection from the sun 
they would call me like a ninja turtle or something but i love that sport that's why i kept on doing it so people would always bully me and this had part i was young and until 18 years old they would call me negra which is not really nice at all imagine this 13 or 15 years old i started to use papaya soaps to make your skin white because i just can't get it's just so sad i was literally bullied and not even just my friends but my own family because all of my sisters are light skin because my mom has a different blood with her and my dad is more of like not really chinese but still they have a little bit of chinese in them so i'm like this is just so sad i looked adopted i'm not even kidding if you see my sisters we don't i am the only one who doesn't look like them this is true a lot of people mistaken that you know um people would ask me offensive things that are you adopted are you this and that and they would call me um burnt or burnt toast burnt this and that it was not really it's, it was not a nice experience but i feel sad because around that time my brain got so poisoned i didn't love myself that much that i started to use bleaching creams and all that stuff in the philippines when you go to a supermarket or even when you drive in the highway you will see billboards all about whitening be beautiful be white be this be white be that blah, blah, blah. everything about whitening there's a whitening soap there are pills and there are injections if you want to be white for um at least a month you would see a different type of glow if you are light-skinned in the Philippines you will be considered as rich or can afford stuff because you don't work outside and you know you're just in the office doing stuff or something like that but yeah um, the bottom point of that is if you are light-skinned you are considered or you look rich so that's the thing about that so they would think that if you are light-skinned you are wealthy you can afford stuff so yeah i know that's weird so here in the u.s i can't believe this there is such thing as a tanning lotion and a tanning salon <laughs> i i don't know i don't use those stuff maybe I don't know why but honestly whatever skin you are happy if you want to be white go ahead if you want to be tan go ahead i just hate the idea that when you are young you are forced to think the this is beautiful because we all know that being beautiful is what's on the inside that's why i'm not beautiful okay what's next i don't know if you guys know this but if you get plastic surgery in the philippines a lot of actresses and whatever actors do that however they are they don't they never disclose it because it's something that is not to be talked about in the philippines because if you do you will get bashed and if you don't talk about it you will still get bashed there is no escaping unlike here if you want to get liposuction go ahead if you want to add boobs go ahead it's pretty it's something that is not a big deal if you want to change something in your life and it's you know to yourself that it's going to make you happy there are a lot of procedures that are life-changing and i don't think you should get mad about other people's decisions if it makes them happy because some have really seri serious cases it's not always about vanity just want to put it out there so yeah the next topic that i wanted to talk about is uh, the body type now when i was living in the philippines people would always call me fat 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 i was just 108 and they would tell me that i'm fat what do you want me to do to be like just 95 i'd probably i already reached to that point because a lot of people would bully me you're fat you're this and that you don't i can't believe you're a cheerleader and you're fat i can't believe you're a model and you're fat by the way i do car shows before i'll probably insert some photo here whatever on the side so it was really hard to i i think that's one of the reasons literally one of the reasons why i decided to quit my old job because the pressure is so unreal i would always eat boiled boiled eggs crackers a lot of water i do understand because that's what people want here justify the amount that we, we are going to pay you so if you guys notice that having really big tits and big ass doesn't really matter back in the day as long as you're skinny as long as you do not have any stomach then we are all good but now i just noticed that filipinos and even the actresses tends to get their butt and boobs done i think it's more of like 
I must say, Kylie Jenner has this huge impact to everybody, but except not, I, don't, I know there are still some of us who doesn't really. But here, I just really love the fact that no matter what size you are, as long as you can just carry yourself and love yourself, it doesn't really matter. I don't know if weight is such a big deal here, but again, in the Philippines, if you are a little chubby or not even, if you look medium size or a large size, I get pretty much bullied about my weight just because I'm curvy is now in but back in the day being skinny is in it doesn't matter if you have boobs it doesn't matter if you have a butt but as long as you don't have any tummy you're in so this is probably one of the funniest fashion statement in the philippines and you won't even believe but this is something that i have i know people who personally do this and they still do this even if they already have it for like 10 years and i am talking about braces braces people braces now before you because a lot of you guys know me before you even tell me that you had you also had your braces for a really long time i want to i want to defend myself okay i had my braces for five freaking years because my first dentist only works for money she doesn't really give a shit about my teeth so that's that so the second time i had braces is from a different dentist but i have to travel for like two hours just to get there so the adjustments are like every like twice a month or something like that you guys know what i mean if you have worn braces before now moving on having braces in the philippines is more of like an accessory because if you have braces people are going to think that you have money to pay for the braces because braces are are quite expensive you are paying for checkups you're paying for this and that so if you have braces people would think that you have money so a lot of people would wear their braces i know a friend of mine but i'm not gonna mention his name oh my gosh people would murder me <laughs> he has his braces for like 10 years now why like the wire supporting the brackets is not even there anymore but he still keeps his braces i'm like ew <laughs> no <laughs> I probably get bashed about this, but whatever. Even when you go to bazaars, I'm not even kidding. When you go to these um, carnivals or bazaars, you there there are free standing accessory makers like the one that you use a tweezer and you just do that. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know what I mean. And they would make you fake ass braces that you could wear for ten cents or something. I know. I know I don't know why that became but yeah if you have braces then you are considered one of the wealthy ones and that is literally a fashion statement but yeah um in relation to that to the Filipino standards of beauty they find it cute as well you have money and you look cute if you have braces I know it's kind of weird but yeah now let's talk about the eyes. My sister has big, beautiful eyes, even though she doesn't appreciate it. She's very defensive if we call her an owl, okay? My bad. I'm so sorry, all right? I was foolish, I was young, but to tell you guys honestly, she has beautiful eyes because she has brown eyes and <laughs> light brown eyes, per se. So yeah, big eyes out chinky eyes in again this is not everyone but i know to myself when we were in elementary usually people who have big eyes get to tease a lot they would call them mata 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 means eye i don't know i don't know what's the big deal about having big eyes but they kind of like laugh about it just because the eyes is big are you following me by the way, if you really want to know what is the Filipino standard of beauty, go ahead and look up Filipino celebrities and you will notice that most of them are half. So if you are a Caucasian, if you are half Filipino, half American, half this, half that, half this and that, you have a high chance to be a celebrity in the Philippines. I am not kidding. I know a lot of foreign people travel to the Philippines to pursue their modeling career, to, to pursue their acting career, but usually it's modeling. When I was auditioning for commercials before, I usually don't get in just because I don't have a light skin or just because I look fat in the camera. But I noticed that when I make so much effort when it comes to me making myself super, super slim, 
that's the only time that I get in. I'm not even kidding. Most of the people would hire half-blooded. So yeah, if you are thinking, if you have relatives in the Philippines and if you are pursuing to become an actress or whatever, if you want to be famous, give it a, give it a shot in the Philippines because who knows, you might be the next big thing. All you have to do is to be fluent in Tagalog and then you can have your chance to be a star. I'm not even, I must admit, most of the time, they are the ones who get accepted when it comes to commercials. If I miss something, let's talk on the, dis on the comment box down below. Overall, I really think that the Filipina dancers... <laughs> Now before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know that whatever you're happy with, if you want to be this and that, if you want to be this and that, this and that, I totally respect that. I support you. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. So that is it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you are still not part of the Sassy family, go ahead and subscribe. I upload Mondays to Fridays. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!